Good day everyone and welcome to our virtual science class. I'm teacher Inky Peralta from the Naga City Division and today we're going to talk about biomolecules as one of the main topic of your learning activity sheet number 4.2. Let's get started! This lesson is aligned with our most essential learning competencies number 4.2 and you can see the code on your screen. So at the end of the video, you are expected to recognize the major categories of biomolecules such as carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acid. If it's almost noon time and you're watching this video, you can probably hear your stomach growling for food. And maybe right now, you can think of your favorite food. What's your favorite food? Is it samgyeopsal, which is a combination of pork, lettuce, and other side dishes? For pizza? Spaghetti? We all know that we have different preferences. But did you know that our food is packed with molecules that help us to live? These are called biomolecules. What are biomolecules? Biomolecules are very important because they control almost every aspect of living organisms. Biomolecule is any molecule that's produced by living organisms such as carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acid. So, in this video, we're going to focus on those four major categories. But before we dive into these four major categories, let us first define a particular term that we're gonna encounter in this video. This is the word monomers. Monomers are building blocks. So if you have a large substance, the parts that makes up that large substance is called the monomers, just like the building blocks. Monomers will help us understand what biomolecules are made of. And of course, it's important to study about biomolecules because they are building components of life. So let's introduce the four biomolecules. Let's start with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide the body with fuel and energy. Actually, its main function is to give us the instant energy that we need. Breads, pasta, sweet potatoes are just some of the examples of food that are heavy in carbohydrates. Since carbohydrates are fast, great source of energy, you might want to eat a lot of carbs the night before you go through a vigorous activity, such as a marathon. And a lot of runners do this. They eat a lot of carbs the night before they go through a marathon and they call this pasta loading. Carbohydrates have monomers. Again, when we say monomers, they are the building blocks of carbohydrates. The monomer of carbohydrate is called monosaccharide. Monosaccharide is the one that comprises carbohydrates. And as you can see from the chemical structure on your screen, Carbohydrates contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, or also known as CHO. The next biomolecule that we're going to talk about is a diverse group, which is called lipids. Lipids are better known as fats. They are great for insulating. Unlike carbohydrates that give instant energy, lipids store energy for later use. So lipids are a great source of long-term energy. Lipids make up the cell membrane of all living cells, so they are very important to life. Some examples of lipids are butter, cheese, oil, and cholesterol. Despite the benefits of lipids, an excessive amount of it can be very bad to your health, so moderation is really important. Lipids has two main types of building blocks. One is called fatty acids, and the other one is called glycerol. Lipids, just like carbohydrates, also compose carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, or also known as CHO. The next biomolecule that we're going to talk about is proteins. Proteins are formally known as polypeptides. They are composed of amino acid bonded together in a long chain. Proteins have structural and mechanical uses and participate in many cellular processes. It functions as enzymes and pigments. 
So the monomers or building blocks of proteins are the amino acids. Proteins are made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur, or also known as CHONS. Now we hear a lot of people that go to the gym and tells us that they take protein supplements. That's really true because protein help us to build our muscles. But in addition to building your muscles, protein has a lot of benefits. Proteins works in the immune system, so they are very good in providing structural support and defense against germs and other infectious diseases. Another function of protein is that they act as enzymes. So since enzymes contains proteins, they are very important in our bodies. And of course, proteins are very good for repair and maintenance of our body organs. Some of the sources of proteins are meat, fish, eggs, dairy products, some types of beans, and almond nuts. The last biomolecule that we're going to talk about is nucleic acid. Nucleic acid carries genetic information in the cell. It includes DNA and RNA. They have a monomer called the nucleotides. And nucleic acid is composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus, or also known as CHONP. Considering DNA and RNA, both of these are involved in the genetic information for coding of your traits. So whenever you eat something that came from something that was once living, it must contain the DNA. For example, when you eat tomato, you're actually consuming all the cells that are within the tomato. And in the nucleus of that tomato is the DNA. Plants and animals both have DNA. In fact, any type of living things must have the nucleic acid within their DNA. So now that you have recognized the major categories of the biomolecules such as carbohydrates, nucleic acid, lipids, and proteins, you may have wondered how much proportion of my food should be in the large proportion and which one should be in the least proportion. The Pingang Pinoy will help you analyze the proportions of food that will help you gain a healthy living. The illustration of Pingang Pinoy you can see on your screen shows that 50% of the diet that we eat every day must be from the glow foods. Glow food may include vegetables and fruits. 33% must include the go food. These are the food that are heavy in carbs such as rice and other root crops. Only 17% must include the grow foods. And these are those foods that are rich in proteins, such as the fish, the egg, the meat, and many more. If you maintain the proper proportions of food that you eat every day, then you will gain a healthy living. And of course, your body will function properly. So that's it for today's video and I hope that you have learned a lot today about biomolecules. Again, I'm teacher Inky Peralta and I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I'm gonna see you to the next video soon.